Junction Coffee is a coffee shop inside a double-decker bus. My wife asked me when we were trying to figure out what to do with this next chapter of our life. She said, what would you want to do for the rest of your life? And I said, honestly, like sit and drink coffee with people. She's amazing because she was just like, okay, let's do it. We wanted to create an environment where they could feel like they're a part of a community. Uh, the coffee scene, which is especially coffee scene, can sometimes be really, really intimidating. And we try to do a good job of like bridging that gap between 7-Eleven coffee drinkers and super experienced espresso tasters. We originally set out to do a brick and mortar in the downtown area, but we quickly realized that it would not be fiscally responsible of us to do that. We thought maybe we could do it in a truck and then build our brand and grow into a space. We quickly realized it's hard to build community through a glorified drive through window. We drove past a double-decker bus on West Reno, which is the west side of the city, and we walked in, we started asking questions, and immediately we were like, that's it, let's put a coffee shop in a double-decker bus. And we could have seating upstairs, and we could have a small uh, cafe space downstairs. He put us in contact with some people in the UK that found a bus for us, helped us import it, and it actually ended up being cheaper than a brick and mortar still, even with all of that. In September of 2015, we opened up down the streets of Oklahoma City. I mean, my favorite part about the bus is getting to know people from all walks of life. We stick out like a sore thumb in Oklahoma City. That's not why we did it, but it certainly is a plus. People that I normally wouldn't meet on a regular basis in my normal little circle, and getting to hear their stories and talk to them and get to know them and be a part of their lives. Seeing that as a business, we're transactional. So what if we flipped it? Doing business as transaction, we did it as a gift. And so for the past few weeks, we have been doing just that. So people come to the window and we sort of say this liturgy of like, because we believe that Jesus loves us and that love is a gift and not a transaction, we are offering our menu as a gift to you. When people hear about it and we tell them, they always ask like, how's it going for you? From the customer's viewpoint to explain how people are responding to it at the window. There was one lady, like almost in tears one time, because she just had like the worst week in the world. Not only give her a free drink, but tell her that God cares about her and that God loves her. But then on the flip side of it as well, every time somebody does take us up on that offering, nobody is underwriting this. To take that risk is in a really difficult, but super encouraging exercise in faith at least so far. Eventually, I think the, the newness and the meaning of the gift is going to wear off. So it's not a permanent shift in how we do things, but it's definitely the introduction, uh, I think, of a concept that we're gonna carry forward. But if we can say, hey, the world doesn't have to be the way that it is, that's something we're doing.